This week's feast. How to conduct a paranormal investigation. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year, everybody! Whee! We had an incredible 2015. Thank you guys so much for all your awesome, amazing support. Yes, we had so much fun fulfilling all of your requests, each and every one of them yeah. in 2015. And we plan on doing way more in 2016. So yeah. stay tuned. We're also looking to experiment and branch out and try some new cool stuff. So Feast of Fiction, today we're bringing you a brand new how-to series. We love cooking, obviously, and we love hosting viewing parties for our friends and families. And we just want to encourage you guys to get in on the fun and do the same thing because it's super easy. And that's kind of what we're hoping to bring to this yeah. how-to series. We do have a great time doing it. And one of my favorite TV shows of all time is coming back. So today we're going to show you how to conduct a paranormal investigation food style with three super easy recipes that look great as well. So actually, shall we begin our investigation? Let's. Let's go. Yeah. The best place to start researching the paranormal is by looking up in the sky. We're gonna make some grilled cheese UFOs topped with guacamole. For the guac, we'll be using avocados, organic hunt diced tomatoes, some chopped green onions, and lemon juice. Add all of these ingredients to a bowl and use a fork to mash the avocados and stir it all together for some creamy guacamole. For our UFOs, take a circular glass or mug and cut out the middle of a slice of bread and do the same with a smaller glass on a slice of cheese. Head to the stovetop, use some Pam to evenly coat your frying pan, and toast your bread on medium heat until golden brown. Flip it over, add the cheese, and cover the pan to let it melt. Once that's done, spoon out some guacamole on top and carefully shape it to give it that UFO dome. And if you want, you can even use chives to make little antenna for your flying saucers. Yeah, these look great. Yeah. Um, nom nom, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love grilled cheese sandwiches. I love open face sandwiches even more. Wow. Mm. Guac, the best. Grilled cheese, the best. All together. Wow. The best, best? Mm-hmm. <laughs> See that, Ash? We saw paranormal activity in the skies. It's real. Well, technically we're in the kitchen, <laughs> but I might need a little bit more scientific evidence. Well, it's great you say that because they left something at the crash site. Oh? Let's investigate. Looks like those UFOs left something behind at the crash site, so we're gonna make glow-in-the-dark rock candy. We will first need some candy molds, so cut out aluminum foil and find your favorite crystal or rock, clean it off, and carefully shape the tin foil around the object, pressing tightly on the edges. Set the mold in a bed of rice and remove the rock, then use Pam to evenly coat the inside of the mold. To make our special rock candy, we're gonna use a secret ingredient, vitamin B2. Riboflavin happens to glow under blacklight, so we opened a couple of vitamin B2 capsules and mixed them in until they dissolved in water. Add the mixture to your sugar in a small pot on high heat. Stir until it's fully dissolved and using a candy thermometer, wait for the mixture to reach 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Immediately remove it from the heat and use a small spoon to carefully pour the candy concoction into the candy molds, then set it in the freezer to solidify. Once the candy is solid, carefully peel your tin foil off and grab a blacklight and watch the magic happen. Ooh, look at that glow. Ooh, look at we found rock samples from the crash site. Ooh, what? Look that at these things so glow. Cool. Very, very cool. Wow. Well, you know, I gotta figure out what it tastes like. All right. For a science. Do the honors. Mm. Open your mouth. Dude, your whole tongue is glowing! Yeah. Right, Ash, are you convinced yet? Paranormal activity! Look I, at my tongue! You know, that is pretty, that's pretty <laughs> cool. I gotta admit, it's really cool, but I think I need to see an alien before I'm completely converted. Face to face? Yeah. I think I got just the thing. Oh! Oh yeah. It's time to finish this investigation and meet some aliens face to face. We're gonna make some alien face crackers and bean dip, so add your dough ingredients to a food processor and combine until the mixture is crumbly. Pour in some water bit by bit and keep processing until you have dough. Roll it out fairly thin and use a knife to cut out some triangular alien faces. Then add eyes and a mouth, stretch it out with your fingers, and use Pam to evenly coat a baking pan and rest the crackers on top. Bake these in the oven for 10 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, let's make a delicious dip. This recipe is super simple with a blend of Rosarita whole black beans and refried beans and Rotel. 
Add these ingredients to a food processor and blend until it's smooth. Then just dip your alien crackers into this bean dip and the taste is out of this world. Three easy recipes that will take any sci-fi viewing party to the next level. You've completed a full paranormal investigation and soon you're gonna need to investigate how to fill up an empty belly. But you probably won't need us to tell you what to do when it comes to that. Enjoy! Cheers. Mmm. Ten minute crackers. Wow. Nice. That is so neat. Mm -hmm. And look how freaking cute they are. I mean, look at this one. <laughs> are you a double dipper? Are I you guess so. I accidentally double dipped. <laughs> Good thing I got my own bowl of bean dip. That's true. I double dip though. I, I let people know. I you do? I think it's okay. No, it's not okay at all. <laughs> you shouldn't let anyone know that. Well, I just, I don't care enough, I guess. Well, I appreciate you sharing that with us, Wim, but... Ugh. Now you know. Brother. Now you know. Mm -hmm. After four years, wow, it took a long time to find out I'm a double dipper. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Sometimes a triple dipper. Wow. Quad dipper. I'm stretching it. You're more than a little dipper, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Ash, definitive proof of aliens. Paranormal activity is real. At least tonight on Feast of Fiction. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the how-to series and let us know what you guys want to see next on Feast of Fiction. Bye. See ya. A big thank you to Conagra Foods for sponsoring this week's feast. We can't wait to see what you guys come up with, so share your own watch party creations using the hashtag homemade delicious.